ever since this pandemic started, I've noticed a lot of people uh, commenting on my videos more, just people that are uh, don't know about Blood Over Intent, just come across these videos. And I commented on a couple videos where people were talking about Blood Over Intent, talking bad about it. And I made my comments, and so there's been a long list of comments, people saying derogatory things, negative, just outlandish, blasphemous things they say about it. And you know, it, to me, it just always sounds crazy when people are down talking, you know, writing on paper, I intend to bring forth heaven on earth for the benefit of all, and putting your blood on that, you know, calling it dumb and repeating yourself over and over again. It's like, what more could you want? What more could you possibly want than to bring forth heaven on earth for the benefit of all? You know, to be blood thick with, you know, your fellow, your fellow man, to bring forth heaven on earth, one common goal. Like, that's what it is. And so for people to just sit there and say these just most ridiculous things about it, it blows my mind every time. It's just like, ew, you know, it's, ew. Like, I can't even stand it, like, that's why I even, you know, that's one reason I do blood over intent. That's why I am blood thick with my blood brothers and my blood sisters. And I'm going to stand firm in truth and see this thing through because, you know, I see what's going on out there. And I've been down all these different roads. These people act like we we're new to all this, you know, like we haven't heard about religion and like we haven't thought this thing through like we don't know what we're doing you know we see what's going on we see the truth and you know people are saying we're repeating ourselves like parrots you know you have to stand firm in truth we're repeating these things so you can get what's going on but you know it's not meant for everybody and i understand that and only those meant to understand to hear when they hear it they'll understand and they'll get it you know they still think they're uh, evolved from monkeys floating on a ball you know flying through space they don't understand where they're at they don't understand that the earth is flat they don't understand that every compass is pointing to a specific direction for a reason they don't understand the christmas tree and why we set it up on an x they don't understand that the sun is spiraling in and out bringing us the seasons they don't understand that every word you speak is a black magic spell they don't understand that the symbols are everywhere showing us where the holy grail is they don't understand these symbols are embedded ingrained into everything it's everywhere they don't understand what's going on you know it's been years since i've been been in blood over intent i've research so many different subjects I, when i did blood over intent i learned so much more my knowledge increased tenfold i learned way more than i've ever learned i've looked up so many different subjects i didn't just do blood over intent and say hey that's it that's all i have to do no i've researched everything mythology geometry astrology for i can't the list goes on and on and on and on and you just realize that everything ties together. You realize all these different religions, they all are telling the same story. All these mythologies, they're all telling the same story. And, you know, they're putting these names to these forces out there. You know, it's the sun above, the sun below. You know, these div the division symbol, the question mark, the exclamation mark, ex exclamation mark, you know, these are all telling us something and these people don't understand it they don't know what's going on they speak blasphemy and saying that we're satanic this and luciferian that they don't understand how satanic they are and how luciferian they already are you know they're worshiping a dead body on the cross eating the flesh and drinking the blood of christ like cannibal type shit they don't understand that they're making an upside down cross. They're thinking that Jesus is gonna come back to save them. They're thinking that aliens are real. You know, a lion, it's in the name. They're a lion about it. They think space is what NASA is telling them about all these pictures they're giving us. And you can tell they're all fake. Watch all these freaking videos of 
them interviewing the astronauts that supposedly went to the moon, you can tell that they're lying about it. You can tell all these videos, you know, you can watch these 24 hour videos of uh, the space shuttle going over the earth, taking pictures of the earth. And you can see that none of the clouds are moving. You can, it's just, the fact that people don't have the eyes to see, they can't get past what they've been taught. And, you know, there's no stopping us. We're bringing forth heaven on earth. The power's in the blood. This is your creator's law. The power is in the blood. We're bringing forth heaven on earth and no one will stop us. This is the only way. It is what it is. You have to become blood thick. 144,000 of us. This is prophecy. This is the way it is. We are here for the benefit of all to bring forth heaven on earth. That is a beautiful thing. It is a beautiful thing. These people don't understand that they're lost at sea and officially declared dead. You need to show proof of life. They can't see these simple truths. They are the walking dead. They are zombies. You are already a cyborg. They don't understand what's going on. You have the mark of the beast on you already. There are so many things that you just have to come to terms with. They don't understand that this is hell. That's Helios above your head. They don't understand these things. They don't understand you need to be the antichrist. They don't understand that Satan is the good guy. They don't understand Lucifer the black sun they don't even understand that Lilith was <laughs> before Eve <laughs> there are so many things that people have to come to grips with to come to terms with and they just sit here and watch a little part of these videos or some other video that somebody made speaking blasphemy about blood over intent and they just start talking shit about it not even ever coming to any understanding they don't know the truth they haven't taken the time. It's been years since I've been blood over intent, since I've done my blood over intent. These symbols and everything, they're everywhere. They're all telling us, you know, the compass is telling us to come past. Every north end of the compass needle is pointing to a south pole. That's a north pole star, Polaris above your head. You know, green means go. That's the aurora borealis. This is where we're gonna get our drink of eternal life. This is where we're gonna go get the seeds and replant these giant trees and bring forth heaven on earth. This used to be a different place. They perverted this place. This is hell. That's Helios above your head. That's Jesus above your head. Spiraling in and out, bringing us the seasons, placing his, his mints through all blood into the center. Out comes the aurora borealis, infinite potential the ash trailing jet. These people don't understand. They don't understand. So keep speaking your blasphemy. You know, we want the cream of the crop. These people that see the truth. There's 144,000 of us here to bring forth heaven on earth. The power's in the blood. No one will stop us. Stop us with no one. I stand firm in truth, blood thick about what you believe it's what you intend to do about it man it's just like if a christian's walking down the street and sees a muslim laying on the ground he's bleeding uh, unresponsive not moving you know it's not what do you believe it's what do you intend to do about it and that's exactly what blood over intent is and people out here trying to defile it pervert it make it an evil thing you know that's absolutely wrong and you know your intent is clear your intent is clear if you're not here to bring heaven on earth for the benefit of all then what are you here for and, you know some might argue that you know, with that intent, you know, you actually got to put in action and help that man that's on the ground. You, with intent comes action. And, you know, putting your blood up, that is an atonement for your filthy soul. And that is the action. And when 144,000 become blood thick, blood strong, you know, heaven's coming to earth for the benefit of all. And it's as simple as that.